Where does this go exactly? Over there? Probably? Did you really just answer my question? I appreciate that. You're a lot more helpful than this lady was. So if we go over here... Yeah. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Oh. I didn't mean it. What's up guys and welcome to 18 Floors. So this is a game where, as you might imagine, there are 18 floors and each one is a room that we need to try to escape. I'd ask you guys if you wanted to see any more of these Escape the Room style games on the channel and the answer was overwhelmingly yes. So I found what's probably one of the best ones for VR. I'm super excited to check it out, but also incredibly overwhelmed. There is a lot of stuff in this room. Well, I'm happy I wore my plaid because it looks like we're in some kind of workshop, right? We have a bunch of tools and wood shavings on the floor, workbenches and things like that. But then you have the giant gold and metal astral clock thing, which definitely stands out. I can't interact with it at all, but it looks like it needs four objects. And I did notice that we have one, two, three, four strange looking boxes. Five strange looking boxes, actually. So maybe all the corner boxes are used to get these objects and then this thing will open up. It looks like it has a seam, right? So this should open if we manage to figure it out and then we can use that box to get through the door. Because that's the whole objective of the game right now is to get the door open, get into the elevator, go up to the next floor and then move on through the 18 floors. The mighty, the colorful, the crooked. Does that mean anything to you guys? That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not sure if it matters which order I do them in, but right off the bat, the one that's attracting me the most is Bart's box. <laughs> How you doing, Bart? You want me to check out your box? I... Did you hear that? I'm not losing my mind, right? There was a knocking just then. It wouldn't be somebody in the elevator, right? Was that you? I see how it is. Guy asks you if he wants to check out your box and you're all... ...dropping your marbles. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little weird. Those eyes are starting to pierce me a little bit. Is there anything that I can do with... Ooh, with this? Okay. Hey. There's a thing. Okay, we seem to have some kind of ancient Egyptian calculator. Oh, and we're doing things over here. Weird. This is what you're into? This is a very limited calculator. Like, I'm guessing by this time the ancient Egyptians didn't have too many numbers invented. We have two plus three equals five. Yeah, it, it equals five. So it does work. I just don't. Jeez. Guys, can you calm down, okay, little cockroaches? I'm already on edge. I'm trapped in here and I'm hearing weird knockings and marble drops, and I really don't need you guys skittering around underneath my little invisible feet, okay? J just dial it back. I'm not a big fan of your pets, you old freak. So what else do we have over here? We have some kind of symbol. I don't know which one that is, though. We're going to call that Tadpole. So we have Tadpole. Oh. Hello. Okay, we have two, five. These things move, don't they? Two, five, four, and eight. Two, five, four, eight. Is that any good to me? Um, not really. I don't have a four or an eight on this calculator. I do have four digits, though. So, how would I get two, five, four, eight in there? Actually, that should be easy enough, right? We know that it's a working calculator, so if we put in two, five, uh, three, five, then we can add five more, five more, and then... Three more? Yeah, two, five, four, eight! Bart? Oh, okay. Uh, you, you, oh, that's some more knocking, too. Do you want me to check out your box? 
and the cockroaches wondered why I was so on edge. <laughs> that is actually terrifying. I don't want this thing staring at me the entire time I'm in here. Oh, that is the worst. So what did it give me? It gave me this little thing, which I can't do anything with, and it gave me... Uh... Is this one of the symbols? I don't think it is, right? No... So I didn't get a symbol from the box. There's four boxes, four symbols, but the boxes don't give you symbols. That's not good. Okay, um, I have some kind of key. Let's just... Sorry. This looks a lot like what we just opened, right? So we're gonna have to pass something through it. Right, it's gonna pass through it and then, oh, it's probably gonna be like a laser or something. Right, it's gonna pass through it and then it's gonna go through some kind of diamond and then open the elevator? That's good. Okay, good first steps. I'm also noticing that this has alpha on it. And I think that one over there has beta. Yeah, you can even see it on the wall. That one has a symbol and that one has a symbol, but I don't know what they are. I would imagine one of them is probably theta and the other one is probably gamma, but I have no sweet clue and that is really blinding. <laughs> Can I do anything with the light eye? <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Just gonna put away the screaming woman drawer. Was that you? Was that one of the cockroaches that I smushed? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so on edge. This isn't a horror game, but when you're in VR and, and you get really immersed and then you hear stuff screaming behind you, it, it just goes right up your spine. Okay, drawer of eyes, what did you have for me? Do I need to take one of these? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just poked it right in the eye. Oh, it's one of those games. Okay, so, oh God, you guys know how much I hate these games. Good, yeah, there we go. Okay, we got all the eyes open. They gave us a key and I'm dying. Uh, am I okay? Oh, oh, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I keep forgetting that I don't actually have a body. Usually when there's a laser beam going through my chest, I just assume bad things. Thank you. Thank you for this. Where does this go exactly? Over there? Probably. Did you really just answer my question? I appreciate that. You're a lot more helpful than this lady was. So if we go over here... Yeah. Right, that looks pretty good to me. Oh. I didn't mean it. I'm still not sure what's going on with the doomsday clock because it hasn't moved at all. And I assume that with four boxes, we were gonna get four items for it, but we haven't found anything yet. Look, clearly we're making progress. So I'm gonna keep working on the boxes, but every time we open one, she seems to get just a little bit more mad. So maybe I won't turn my back to her too much. Maybe we can just kind of solve this one on a bit of an angle. What do we have here? Oh, it's a typewriter. Okay. So we need a four letter word. I don't suppose it will be Cuba, would it? <laughs> I have a flashlight, by the way. You know what? Bart was a huge fan of Cuban cigars. I, I want Bart back. That would be great. It's really freaking difficult to try to type when you have a blinding laser in your eyes. Oh yeah, that, that's just wonderful. Just just hold that back for a second. That can't be good for you. Uh, Q, Y, E, A. Good? Hey, that seems pretty good. And now, if we let the light go... Oh, okay. How do you feel about that? Are the tears running further down her face, or am I losing my mind? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go make new friends. I don't need friends with faces. I've got... Oh. Oh is my new friend here, right? Oh, you're, you're just gonna come hang out with me, and, and we're gonna have fun not crying blood. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is just a name tag? This has to be used for something, right? 
We'll just stack everything up that might be important. There. Oh. No, not you. I meant, oh, look what I found. There's another thing here. I can't interact with it. That's an E. O E. Take note of that. I saw this thing the moment I came in, and I really didn't want to touch it because it looks like some kind of plasma-infused dildo, but I guess it's about time though. What the hell? Um, It's a look into the room, except for everything is different. Right? All of the weird puzzle stuff isn't here. The window isn't boarded up, and all the boxes are gone, and you aren't here, which is just lovely. Huh. Can I use this to... Well, I can block the light with it, but anything blocks the light. I can't seem to reflect anything with it. Elevator's still there. Okay. I don't know what the true vision is used for quite yet, but once again, we'll add it to the pile. That, that should be very useful at some point, I'm sure. Why do I keep talking to you? You're not my friend, right? Yeah, that, that's right. All right, box number four. What do you have to offer me? Some kind of strange little puzzle. Okay. Oh, right. One, the mighty. Two, the colorful. Three, the crooked. So we have one, two, and three... Uh, we have a wrench, a hammer, a screwdriver, and uh, measuring tape, maybe? So the measuring tape would be the crooked. The mighty would probably be the hammer. The colorful would be... Oh, maybe that's a paintbrush? No, that's definitely a screwdriver. I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of tools around here as well. So... There might be a hint lying around for me. So out of all of these tools, the only three that I can interact with are these. We have a hammer, we have a screwdriver, and we have a manual drill by the looks of it. So no wrench, which means the wrench might be the outlier. I don't see, well, technically I have that, but I don't know if that's a wrench. Would my uh, trusty true vision help at all, I wonder? Are there any tools that are left behind? Doesn't really look like it. That's weird. That has a graph on it, but here it doesn't. Um, can I draw? For a second, I thought this thing was wonky because I'm not actually looking through it, but then I realized that it lets me line things up perfectly. So it starts around this line here. And then it goes down to about here, and then a little bit back up, something like that. Anybody like that? No? I don't suppose I can make you a little bit happier, can I? <laughs> I don't think this marker likes touching your face. Who would, really? Okay, yeah, that didn't do anything. Great. I don't have any idea what I'm supposed to do with this box. It has to be the fact that I don't have a measuring tape. Oh, wait! It's a measuring tape, not a screwdriver, so those are completely useless. I have tried a bunch of different combinations now. Oh, shit! What the hell was that? Oh, it opened! What? Oh! <gasps> That actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Where did that hammer come from? It wasn't that hammer. Oh, 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 okay. It didn't give me an audible click or any indication that I got the right thing. I was about to say I've been trying like a dozen different combinations because I can't seem to guess it right, but there's only so many that you can get. And then all of a sudden a hammer fell on my head and a laser beam went through my chest. <laughs> That's just great. Okay, so we have all of the boxes open, right? I didn't get any items out of any of them, though. So I have to be missing something, and it must be something to do with the paper that I'm still missing some pieces from, and whatever this is used for. I didn't see any use for it. Does it work on you, Mr. Middlebox? Oh, it does! Oh, well then. That's something I could have done a long freaking time ago. Can I... Uh, 
Oh, that's what the paper's for. I don't have all of the things yet, though, so that doesn't really help me all that much. What is that? Are you kidding me? So wait a minute, all of the pieces are just hiding in plain sight? I guess I opened all the puzzle boxes, but we got one. So you should go here? Yep, that definitely did a thing. Okay, so let's take a look around for some more pieces. I didn't actually think to like look through drawers and stuff like that because they had everything out in the open. Can I open any of you? Yeah, okay. No, not so not so much, but we got another one. Okay, we got the female. So that can go there. The clock is moving. Great job, O. We're looking for tiny, useless scraps of paper with symbols on them, or giant golden symbols. You know, one or the other. There's really no in-between for me. Anything would be helpful? Okay, here we go. Can I... Is this... Aha! Okay, we got the mail. So you should be able to go there. Almost there. Just one more left. I didn't see anything in here, I don't think. Oh, we got a scrap of paper, though. We got two scraps of paper in one. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, what do we have going on here? These are so freaking difficult. Why can't I just have hands in VR? I'm starting to think that that piece of paper doesn't go with these pieces of paper. Because these are much larger, and I can't actually rip that off. So that's probably indicating that this is the final box. Right, we had Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Theta. This is probably Epsilon, I would imagine. So we're still looking for one more piece of paper and one more giant symbol. And I'm running out of places to look. <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of things that I can interact with in this world. It's times like these where I'll spend like 10 or 15 minutes in between cuts looking for one stupid little item in a game. And I'll always think of the fact that I get just, just one comment from somebody on every one of these videos, every puzzle video that I make, saying, Why do you pretend like you haven't seen this before? Stop pretending, it's so cringy. Why don't you just tell us that you've already seen this? And like all I can think of is, who in their right mind would watch something and then pretend to react to it for the first time, rather than just reacting to it for the first time. Like, it'd be like painting the house that you're about to tear down. Nobody does that. That being said, I have absolutely nothing going for me right now. I got nothing. I got nothing, lady. I have no idea where it is. I swear I've looked freaking everywhere. I can interact with these things, but I can't interact with most other things in here. Which... Huh. Yeah, I can see why some people might think something like that was planned. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't care. I, I don't- I just don't care. We got it, okay? So now, you go here. Ta-da! That has to be a good thing, right? Yeah, it does open up. Um, should you be there, oh? Oh, you might be in the way. That's freaky. What- What the hell is it? That's pretty awesome, though. I think I'm going to leave you there. What is... Oh. Oh, okay. I've seen so much art like this before. Now I need to rotate it so that it gives me the actual sun symbol. That's not going to be easy. Oh. Okay. It just kind of snapped into place, thank God. <laughs> because... That's really difficult. I don't want to look behind me right now. I really don't want to look behind me. Oh, you're good. Okay, then. You know what? I, um... I'll see you later. Say hi to Bart for me. See you, cockroaches. Uh, you, you can come with me. You know what? We're, we're getting out of here together. Okay, you, you want to go to the second floor? No? We're going to the second floor. That's all we got going for us. We're just gonna... Eh. There we go. Oh, I did it. No, 
Oh, I hardly knew ye. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is very different. I thought they were all going to be single rooms, but this looks like... Um... This looks like three or four rooms on what sounds like a water train? <laughs> Doesn't really sound like a boat. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of 18 Floors, guys. And as expected, I had a blast with this. I love these Escape the Room style games. And it's like I said, this is probably one of the best ones out there for VR at least. So if you guys are interested in seeing more, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know. And then maybe next time we'll try to escape the water train. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.